Good evening, Kennesaw. Welcome to the Channel One News at 6 o'clock. I'm Leviticus Warner. Let's get to today's top stories. Kennesaw State football coach Brian Bohannon has formally invited an undisclosed number of students to join his team for fall training. This is after an intense tryout period that included 85 prospective players. Next in the process, those students will have to fill out plenty of paperwork with the NCAA and join the student success programs that are already in place for student athletes. Kennesaw State football picked up 27 commitments this spring and their first scheduled game is against East Tennessee State University in September of 2015. Next, there's a new smoothie shop in downtown Kennesaw. Let's go to the field with Lauren for the story. Thanks Leviticus. An alarming rise in obesity has contributed to a dramatic increase in the prevalence of diabetes in the United States, according to a new study. Obesity-related conditions include heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer, some of the leading causes of preventable death. The estimated annual medical cost of obesity in the United States was $147 billion in 2008. Studies also show uni United States childhood and teen obesity rates have increased but despite these obesity problems, Blended Up in Kennesaw offers a healthy meal alternative to kickstart your weight loss. Blended Up is a new smoothie shop that offers a nutritious option for customers looking to lose weight. Blended Up is a healthy and safe way for customers to lose weight and reach their fitness goals in order to fight against obesity. Their shake making process has proven to be extremely successful when it comes to losing weight. We start you off with a green tea, it's a uh, herbal tea, uh, that is made to jumpstart your metabolism, just get your body burning calories, uh, and it's just really delicious. Helps you break down sugars that you would, you know that you normally would take in. Um, we use a product called Herbalife, and it has 24 grams of protein in, er, that we make in every shake. Has different 20 different vitamins and minerals that you would need in every drink. It's almost like your full serving uh, fruits and vegetables that you would get uh, out of a meal, but in a meal replacement shake. And we use fresh fruits, uh, no sugars added and they're all under 250 calories and all delicious. You can find out more information about the Blended Up process or find a location near you by logging on to blendedupnutrition.com or check out their social media pages. Thank you, Lauren. Sounds pretty tasty. Can't wait to try one. Well, let's take a quick commercial break. Join us soon for more Channel One News. In a world where leakage is the number one problem among women, one tampon will rise to the top to rule them all. Don't trust the big evil company who only provide discomfort. Introducing Perfect. Perfect is triple layer absorbent silk imported from the farthest reaches of Malaysia. Don't put your life on pause when your flow is strong. Trust us. Trust Perfect. Trash everyone else. Available at Walmart and other fine retailers. Yesterday, the committee overseeing the consolidation between Southern Polytechnic State University and Kennesaw State University announced that the current Southern Poly campus in Marietta would remain intact as the engineering division of the new Kennesaw State. The committee also announced that the name would be called the Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. This merger is the fifth of its kind in Georgia history and is expected to be complete in January of 2015. The Atlanta Braves are moving to Cobb County in 2017, but there are still a number of economic hurdles to jump through before the stadium can be built. We go to Tiffany with more on the story. Thanks Leviticus. This is Tiffany Starr and I am here on site at the new projected stadium for the new Atlanta Braves location 14 miles up from Atlanta, where recent announcements have just been made that the stadium will cost an additional $18 million. The question now is, will loyal fans of the Braves still support this new location? The question remains to be seen. Cobb County will be investing in the cost of the stadium and its surrounding, including the transportation enhancements that are proposed. The vision may be grand for the new stadium, but will this invite grander issues for the business owners and operation? Whether the new stadium can create more thriving businesses and enhance the community or not is a matter of opinion. The decision to move the stadium was determined due to the massive amount of upgrades that Turner Field requires, and when the lease is up in 2016, the goal is to create a greater game experience for all. Cobb County is one of the you know largest counties with more Fortune 500 you know companies within you know any county in the, in the city of Atlanta. 
and I definitely think it's going to have a, you know great support because I think Cobb County has a, a great group of you know sports fans, and I think it's going to actually contribute to the process. The location was selected partly due to moving closer to the central location of the brand's fan base and provide easier access for fans to get to and from the game. Thank you, Tiffany. We'll be sure to keep up with that story as it develops. Speaking of baseball, the Kennesaw State baseball team wrapped up a four-game series against Stetson University this weekend. They swept the Hatters with a 9-8 victory. Standout catcher Max Pentecost had a home run with two doubles, while right fielder Alex LaCorey had a three-hit game with two RBIs. The Owls will travel to Atlanta on Tuesday to face the Georgia State Panthers, and they are now 19-20, just over the halfway point in the season. Well, that will do it for us at 6 o'clock. Be sure to tune to Channel 1 at 11 p.m. for updated stories and weather. In the meantime, I'm Leviticus Warner. Enjoy your evening, Kennesaw.